my family asked me not to come home anymore and acted like I didn't exist, but my fiancé insisted on inviting them to our wedding. So, I told her we should throw all invitations away. My dad left the family and made no contact when I was four. My mom remarried and had two kids with my stepdad. My stepdad, Dale, never treated me poorly but always clarified that I was nothing to him. He was not my dad. My mom never tried to fix the relationship and honestly loved her new family and always saw me as a burden. That's what I thought until it was confirmed after my freshman year of college when my mom asked me not to come home anymore. I blocked her after that phone call and have had no contact with her or my stepdad, and half-brother. Since then, I still speak to my half-sister at her insistence, but that's my only contact. It took me a long time to deal with basically being kicked out of my family. I grew up pretty independent and thought I'd live alone until I met my fiancé four years ago. We have had a great relationship, her family opened up and invited me in with open arms. She comes from a pretty typical suburban family, and they are great. Over the years, I've told her about my issues with my family. She met my sister and never pushed for more until we started planning the wedding. When we started talking about who we would invite, I spoke of friends from college and co-workers, and she kept saying I should invite my parents. At first, I thought she was just trying to gauge if I wanted to. I said I would not be inviting my parents. She said okay but then brought it up again the next day. I calmly explained how much they hurt me, how growing up feeling you were unwanted, and then having it confirmed at 19 stunted my mental health. Over the years, I have realized it's their problem, and if they ever want to solve it, they can initiate, but I am in contact with my sister, and it is clear they are happy, insisting I don't exist. It sucks, but it's their problem that they have thrust onto me. I can't be the one to solve it. I thought it had ended, but she brought it up twice. The last one was last night. We were about to start saving the dates, and, she said, are you sure you don't want to invite your parents? I feel like I might just invite them on my side. And I snapped. I told her we should probably just throw the invitations away because I don't want to marry you if you can't respect what I've been through. I then went to our bedroom and fumed for a while. She came in to try to talk to me, and I walked out, grabbed my keys, and left. I returned around 11 p.m. after hanging with friends and sleeping on the couch. She left for work without speaking to me, and I don't know where we stand. Her behavior is unacceptable, but I may have gone too far. Update, my fiancé normally gets home around 5.30 p.m., so I waited for her to show up after I was done working. I work from home. I got very worried when it was 6 p.m., and she still wasn't home, but around 6.15, she showed up with my sister, which was a big surprise. While my sister and I connect every Thursday, we live 45 minutes away from each other, so her popping by is not normal. Both of them looked very anxious, so I was very confused. I asked them what was happening, and my sister burst into tears and said she was sorry. After like five minutes of her losing her shit, she starts talking about the family. So apparently, when she told my mom and Dale that I had engaged, there was a rift between them. Not because they cared about me but because my half-brother, who is 27, still lives at home is single, and has no steady job. If you're thinking, wow, they kicked you out at 19 but let him stay there past when he could rent a car, don't worry, I said it out loud. My mom wants to do the same to my half-brother, but Dale won't let her. So, they are currently separated. My mom lived with family and refused to return until my half-brother left the house. For some reason that defies all logic and reason, my sister thinks getting an invite to my wedding will bring the family together since my engagement caused the rift. At this, I blew up a bit. I told her that my engagement had nothing to do with it, that their shitty parenting and poor relationship skills caused it, and don't put that shit on me. She cried even harder. This time, I would not console her. My fiancé is sitting there the whole time, so while my sister is trying to get herself together, I question my fiancé. She also tears up a bit but tells me my sister was telling her about how I always bring up the family on our Thursday and that I wanted to repair the relationship deep down. I asked how she could believe that when I was clear that I was in no contact with my family and had never mentioned wanting to be in contact. I told her that I tell her everything and would never hold back something like this without talking to her. She's always been my sounding board. When I switched jobs last year, we talked about it every night. Her advice mattered more than anyone else. She apologized and then wanted to show me her phone, specifically the messages between her and my sister. At this point, my sister perks up and asks her not to show the phone conversation, but my fiancé tells her she's trying to save her relationship. My sister has just been straight up lying about our Thursday conversations. I was always talking about reconciling. I would never admit it, but I'm partially at fault, too, and I want to see them all again. Every time I would tell my fiancé no, she would text my sister, and my sister would talk about how I just couldn't be open because I was embarrassed. It's just completely false. I would be perfectly happy never to see any of them again. I can't believe my sister still sees them. At this point, I told my half-sister to leave and that Thursdays are cancelled. My sister puts up a little bit of a fight, but I ignore her until she leaves. She keeps saying sorry over and over again, but honestly, I'm done with her. I've blocked her and will not contact her for the time being. This is a complete betrayal of my feelings and relationships. As for my, fiancé and me, I am still very upset. She went behind my back with my sister, never asked me about it, let my sister manipulate her, and honestly hurt me. I told her I loved her, but my trust was broken. We've agreed to go to couples therapy and see if we can repair the relationship. I hope we can, but I'd say it's a toss-up for me. She's got a lot of work to do.